What's going on, guys and gals, and welcome to Good Roll Hunting. The end of 2023 is here. We just did our top 10 horror movies of 2023. Now we're going to give you our top five, actually our bottom five, our, our top five worst horror movies of 2023. There's some really crappy ones on here, Birdie. Dude, man, and I feel awful, but mainly it's because of this video, man. But we're going to get through it, man. We're going to talk about our five worst horror movies of the year 2023. So, of course, I want to ask you guys, what are some of your all's worst horror movies from the year 2023? Let us know in the comment section down below. Without further ado, uh, you know what? We thought about doing dishonorable mentions, but there are so bad. These five that we have are so bad. We don't need any dishonorable mentions. Yeah, I'm going to start off here with uh, with number five here for me, fifth worst, Insidious, The Red Door. This one was uh, was highly disappointing for me. I just didn't like the movie. I, I don't remember, like, I remember seeing it in theaters, but I don't remember anything about it. I didn't think it was good. I didn't think there was anything about it that stuck, that uh, that stood out, that made it worthwhile. Honestly, I'll probably never watch it again unless we do a Insidious series on the channel at some point. So, you know, it might have been better in Last Key or Lost Key or the <laughs> Fucked Off Key or whatever it was. <laughs> Um, but it's not by much. Um, it's just, it's very forgettable. Again, I don't remember anything that happened in this other than that one scene with the uh, the guy walking up behind Patrick Wilson while he's in the car. That was kind of creepy. Um, it was just really kind of a lackluster return for this family, unfortunately. They didn't do much for me. So, yeah, that'll be my number five. All righty. Uh, let's see here. My number five uh, is going to be a movie called Bury the Bride. Uh, and pretty much what this one is, this is a Scout Taylor Compton movie. So anything Scout Taylor Compton, I'm going to give it a watch. And I thought she was okay with it. It's just, again, back to what I say, uh, that Scout Taylor Compton deserves to be in more better recognizable films versus doing these shitty films like this. And uh, the interest, the concept of this is... Uh, uh, pretty decent uh what is brad is uh she is a bride and they're having pretty much like their uh bridal sh or whatever you call the party that's of the brides uh like they're having they're getting their freak on and not that huh bridesmaids yeah uh, but it's called like you know there's the uh the freaking bridal wedding party? weekend yeah bridal party yeah bachelor bachelorette stuff. party okay got gotcha. bachelorette right. party yeah, yeah exactly see i knew we get there god it's just talk about these horrible feels just gets you something you know but uh they're on their bachelorette party weekend in the middle of nowhere uh and they find some dudes around and then these random dudes show up and then they turn out to be something else more but y'all probably never gonna watch it anyway but just in case i'll leave you with that little surprise interesting concept horrible execution so that is my number five yeah number four for me five nights at freddy's didn't care for this one either um, I thought this one, uh, again, there just wasn't anything interesting about it. The, 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 there wasn't any kills in it that were good. Uh, the only good thing about this movie was Matthew Lillard. The rest of it, nothing did anything for me. Again, not a movie I'm ever going to watch again. Um, you know, they did, you know, there was a couple interesting moments, I guess, you know, but it, at the end of the day, it just wasn't, again, I don't, I don't, nothing stood out about it. There's, it's very forgettable. Um, it didn't do anything for me. So, yeah, I think they, the concept was cool you know like obviously the five nights at freddy's concept being stuck there at the chuck e cheese and the fucking animatronic <laughs> things killing people like that's cool you could have a lot of fun with that i just don't think they did that here there wasn't any fun to be had there wasn't any good kills there wasn't any good carnage there wasn't anything really about it that i enjoyed so yeah that's going to be my number four Wow, like Brad's hitting like the big movies while I'm hitting like these little like li these little ones here. Uh, but you know what? I love it. Even though I'm getting ready to hit my first big one here, uh, my number four is going to be The Exorcist Believer. And let me go ahead and let you all know something. I am not a believer of this movie. This movie can legitimately fuck off. First off, nobody asked for this movie because you don't touch the original in any shape or form. Uh, unless if you're The Exorcist 3, then you get a little bit of a pass. But this one does not get a pass. I just want to crumble up stuff it down the most nasty assault toilet i can find and just flush it multiple times and just let it reek of havoc this movie is just absolutely awful but luckily enough there's three movies in my opinion that are actually worse than the exorcist believer i'm not sure what brad thinks about that i guess we're gonna assume here figure it out soon but just luckily for this movie there's three worse ones so my number four is the exorcist believer yeah, number three for me is Exorcist Believer, man. And this is one that, you know, I, I they, they had a good concept of a story. They had a good idea. 
you know they had a they had a really good place they could have gone with it if they would have just written it better and they would have gone mm -hmm. if they would have done things a little bit differently and focused on different things in this and not focused on bringing what's her name back for a fucking awful scene that was so fucking stupid that i don't even know what i'm gonna do like i don't even know why they did it like it like this just, makes I me guess, want to gouge my eyes out <laughs> oh, but dude i was just like it was such a waste of fucking time when you could have been focused on the other characters like and and whatnot so that was that was yeah i didn't like that at all uh but again you know th there were some things about it that were compelling but it just it just felt it, it fell flat in every category no it wasn't scary there wasn't anything about it scary there was nothing interesting about it the ending was stupid i, I don't know how they were even going to set up a fucking trilogy with this thing the way it ended I, I just, I don't know. I guess they would just kind of do the same thing they always do. There wasn't anything, there wasn't no reason to make this movie, though. There's nothing about it that, that you know, brought any life back to this franchise. So, it sucked. It blew ass. Not much I like about it, but it's a little bit better than these other two. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, too, me and Brad, we even talked about it. Like, we actually have a better concept than what they display to us. Like, we could have made the movie a lot better. So, Hollywood... Hire your boys. Good real films. Uh, so let's see here. My number three, Brad, is going to be The Pope's Exorcist. And I understand a lot of people actually do like this movie. I'm not just one. I'm not one of them because this one turned out to be a whole big like action movie um, set in a possession style movie. And I feel like the two do not mix very well. Like I would say it will mix if they both actually like just it doesn't treat itself too seriously. But this movie definitely tried to treat itself too seriously, except for one little exception with uh, Russell Crowe with a moped. Yeah, get the fuck I, out I, of here. I can't even tell you what that was about. But other than that, though, this movie tried to be way too hard. Uh, it first, it's trying to, you know, lighten up, get some jokes and get some eggnog and all that. But, you know, I, Russell Crowe, I'm not going to fault him for this. I'm surely someone found a nude photo of him and forced him to make this movie. So I'm not going to disfault him in that. But the rest of this movie can fuck off at my number three. Yeah, number two for me is Cocaine Bear. I just didn't find this movie all that good. I, you know, I know that it was going for the more comedic, you know, side of things, and that's what I was kind of hoping for. There were a couple moments that actually did make me laugh, so it's not last place. But it's at the end of the day, it was just so fucking stupid. It was so over the top dumb. Like I know that's again kind of what you expected, but it was even more dumb than you would even think it would be. And it just, you know, I, again, there's a couple moments of of uh, LOLing to be done here. Um, that scene with the ambulance uh, being chased by the bear, that was fantastic. That was the best thing. You could have just made the movie that, and that would have been fun. Everything else about it sucked um, for the most part. So I didn't like that at all. The, CG, the bear looked awful. Um, you know, it, you know, it, they, they did, you know, they, 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 they made this true story into something, um, and they did something, you know, kind of cool with it. At least they tried to, but again, they just, I don't, it didn't do anything for me. Uh, not a, again, a, a, another one I'm not going to watch again. Mm -hmm. and you know what i do not blame you man i feel like us on cocaine could be a lot better than what this movie does oh definitely definitely me even me chasing ambulance <laughs> <laughs> anyways um <laughs> uh, my number two brad is going to be pet cemetery bloodlines and uh this was, I'm pretty sure, Brad, correct me if I'm wrong, this is pretty much a um, story from within the Blood, or Blood Cemetery, uh, Pet Cemetery, uh, about a little short story about how everything began with a uh, good old young Judd. Uh, that's pretty much what this is about. It's an orchid story about young Judd and his experiences with Pet Cemetery. And um, honestly, just like the Exorcist Believer, this just was not needed. They just tried to do something uh, just to try to get a quick buck. But instead of a quick buck, it's going to get a big fuck. So get the fuck out of here. So my number two is Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. Yeah, good pick, man. I didn't even waste time with that one, man. I heard everybody say it was shitty. I don't do it. Good pick. I, and that's why... Yeah, again, okay, number one for me, the worst of the worst of the year. This is actually my worst movie of the year. And maybe it's not necessarily the worst, but it is it is for me, and that's the Pope's Exorcist. You just talk about it. I don't care about mopeds. I don't care about Russell Crowe and mopeds. I don't care about Russell Crowe and mopeds slaying zombies with the, with, the, with the crucifix. I don't give a fuck. It was boring. This movie was put me to sleep so many times. I, I was watching it, fell asleep, woke up. I was like, oh, shit, rewound it. And then I fell asleep again and then had to keep doing that cycle for about two hours until I finally finished the damn movie. Um, so any kind of movie that can't keep my attention for that long, I just, I, I can't, I didn't like the movie at all. I didn't think it was interesting action. I didn't see any action in there because there wasn't anything fucking going on of, of entry at all. So, um, maybe there was, I just wasn't invested in it. I just fucking thought this movie was just a bore, uh, through and through. So, uh, that is my list.
Alrighty, and uh, to finish it off on my side of things, my number one, I kind of mentioned earlier, anything with Scout Taylor Compton that is in it, I'm going to watch it just based off of her. This one I kind of wish I broke my rule with, because my number one is a little movie called Captive, a number one that just kind of silently like kind of went on Tubi, or any kind of streaming, low service streaming service like that, and um, this was just awful all around. Like, I fell asleep in this movie too, and I felt bad doing that to my girl, uh, Scout, uh, but again, she deserves better movies versus just being stuck with these shitty movies, and it's just, it's bad all around, like, pretty much in a way, just to say you all the trouble uh they her and her friends uh, just going to this random ass house they found a guy in the basement they released him he was all chained up uh and then they get a lot more than they anticipated um so again i'm just going to spoil it for you guys so spoiler alert real quick uh it was a vampire this is a vampire flick and it's just everything was just awful so i'm not, <laughs> not even going to waste this any more time on this so my number one is captive of being the worst movie good pick good pick yeah, even though Brian probably never even heard of this movie until right now. I did not, and as is a few of the other list of movies you listed, I don't want <laughs> And you to. know what, hey, that's okay, I man. Don't, we yeah. watch what we watch, and we hate what we hate, and we hate all five of these movies. So I want to ask you guys, though, what are some of your worst uh, horror movies from this year? What did you think about our list? Did you agree with our five worst picks, or uh, did you like some of the movies that we did pick and we should just fuck off? Or is there a movie that we forgot to mention? Let us know in the comment section down below let's get that discussion rolling or not yes. rolling yeah don't roll unless you're on a moped <laughs> unless you're on a moped and you got holy water in your backpack that's when you can roll but don't do it otherwise mm, yeah let, let's not do that and brad just in case where can they find us uh man you guys want to help us find the good reels our links are right down there in the description go down there and check them out you'll find some good stuff patreon's down there all that good stuff fantastic good stuff yeah absolutely especially if you uh, sign up for patreon and a uh, youtube membership you'll get to see our worst non-horror movies of the year 2023 you get that exclusive perk and much much more but we are done with this damn video we've already spent way too much longer uh talking about bad horror movies we're gonna get back to talking some good horror movies uh so we will see you all for the next one Yes.